Christmas present for the Bureau of Environmental Services. The Terminal 1 building on Portland's waterfront is selling for top dollar. Jennifer Dowling is live at the property digging deeper into the new owner. Good evening. We're at the property right now, and as you can see, there's not a lot going on here. Now, there was a bidding war over this property for quite some time, and Lithium Motors has come out on top. Now, they say they plan to put two buildings here with flex space offices, and in this letter of intent, it says that 1,300 workers could work in the Innovation Center alone, separate from Lithia's operations. There's been a lot of changes in this neighborhood. So. Jamie Price works near the old Terminal 1 North Warehouse. There's a little bit of anticipation. He, like many others here, are curious about what Lithium Motors will do with this property. I think everyone in the neighborhood is kind of waiting to see what happened, what's going to happen with this property. Commissioner Nick Fish says Lithium Motors plans to create a big campus to store cars and prepare them for sale. He says the 14-acre site will also help the company to consolidate their Portland operations and staff to one large location. Lithia was the most motivated, and essentially they said we'll, make, we'll beat any offer on the table. And at the end of the day, they paid top dollar, $12.5 million. That's quite a deal considering the Bureau of Environmental Services bought the property for only around $4 million about 20 years ago. Fish says the land was needed back then for the big pipe project to correct sewer overflow problems in Portland. He says at that time, ratepayers saw their bills skyrocket to pay for the big pipe. He says the $12.5 million from this sale will sit in a special account to offset future building costs that might cause bills to rise like that. The proceeds of this sale will go into a dedicated fund that is used for our capital construction needs. Price says he's also happy that this property will retain its status as an industrial site. I think it's important to keep jobs here. I think that's what this area is for. Now, many things could have happened to this property. In fact, it's pretty dark, so you can't see it right now, but it actually sits right next to some residential condos on the back side over there. And there was a homeless shelter that was proposed here. You'll recall, of course, that idea was tabled a while ago. So now that this has come to light, that this will be an industrial space, Commissioner Nick Fish says he's relieved because he says it's needed to preserve jobs. Back to you. All right.